Hello and welcome to another installment of My Skydio and Me. My Skydio and Me. Today's episode is going to be great and I'll tell you why. In today's video, I'll be unleashing my Skydio 2 drone to follow me across the largest area yet. And it's a real world example of what doing an autonomous mode shoot with a Skydio drone can be like. It's always best before you go out to make sure you're running the latest app version and drone firmware. I'm looking forward to this shoot because the latest firmware reportedly included improved wireless performance, which is something I'd been having problems with for a while. So it's just good practice to make sure all your software is up to date. It's also a really good idea to double check all of the settings that may be relevant to whatever kind of shoot you're about to do. Today, the area I'm in isn't likely to have other people around, so I'm not going to restrict how low my Skydio 2 can fly to duck under things to stay with me. Whoop! Wait a second. I had connected my phone to the beacon. I don't know why my phone suddenly decided to connect directly to the drone or how it snagged the beacon's signal away from it, but I'll just go into my phone settings here and erase my Skydio drone from my phone's Wi-Fi memory, and then I'll connect it to the beacon again. Weird. Anyway, since today's shoot is beneath high tension power lines that are between 40 and 50 feet up, and since Skydio drones have trouble seeing power lines to avoid them, I'm setting a custom height ceiling so that my drone will stay below the wires and not risk a crash. And I was very pleased that the recent update enables me to set a height ceiling of whatever I want, not just to a minimum of 50 feet as it had been before. Checking the beacon's battery power level, 87% is plenty for this shoot. So it looks like I'm ready to launch. Wait a minute. What is restarting and what is fault V5? Got no idea. I'm beginning to wonder about this update and worry about the shoot. Nope, that recovered quickly. I think I'm in business. I'm now hand launching using the beacon controls. My drone. All right, here we go. And I want you to be up a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Moment of truth, people. Let's get going. Oop. I mean the beacon disconnected. Let's get you back over to me. This right here is a super, super steep hill. And oh my god, it's gonna be lots of fun to try to get up again. Ah, mud. You can't tell from the video uh, how steep this is, but the bike's taking it like a champ. Uh, now some erosion. want to go through that or do I? Nope, there's even fish in there. Okay. Resuming. Get my chest cam all set. Beacon disconnected. Why? 
That's not good, Skydio. Skydio, this is not acceptable. Totally unacceptable. I'm going to try turning off everything except for my fly. this so far huh look at that view so not the best start but I guess we're doing okay I'm gonna put you on this side of me and we're gonna go do some more we're gonna go down there I've never actually been down there before because it's so rough the hills are so big that it would just take forever on a regular bike Some seriously rough shit. It's not that you follow. You know what? You're gonna do what you're gonna do. See if you can stay with me. Come on, Scotty. broken bridge. I'm not going to try going over that with my motorbike. Okay. All right. How are we doing?
So another thing I'm trying this time is a height ceiling. Skydio listened to me, I think, and I wanted something to be able to control what the height what the height ceiling would be, like below 50 feet. have you go from this way. Oh my god. Okay, I'm very muddy now. Oh my god. I went through a, a mud pit. if I'm on course still or not. I'll just say I am. Oh. Engine stalled. And there's another. It's just as good because here's another stream. clean adventure. I just know that getting back is not going to be fun. No more mud. No more mud. you from the front. Oh my god, I am so dirty. Oh, low battery. Low battery, everybody. Battery change. Oh my god. It is muddy. Alright. All right, so here's what's going on. I have grossly, grossly underestimated how incredibly muddy and how there's not just, it's not trail, it's bog. There's also a lot of bugs. Um, so I'm not going to the end. I said I'm gonna go back because I only have one more Skydio battery. So I'm gonna use that to get back. Hopefully it takes me the whole way, if not whatever. But the real test, the bike's doing awesome right now. But uh, though it's very dirty, though we're gonna see how it works on hills in just a moment. I am a feast for bugs right now. Okay, here we go. Zip that in there. Get my orientation down. I'm gonna go from the side. 
and we're gonna start. This is gonna be extremely steep, people. Like of the type that on a regular conventional mountain bike, I probably wouldn't be able to do this. Yeah, a little screen. Maybe I'll wash my shoes off. Yeah. Here we go. You don't even know where I am. Hold on. So, stop. Look this way. There I am. Another opportunity to wash my shoes. Oh my god. So I'm gonna have you go on the other side of me. This is another super steep hill. I'm not really fair to start it because it's all sand. Like I'm on such a great contraption and the bike is doing awesome uh, but the environment is not holy crap all right little breather
the hell out of my question. Other side. quit my app and my phone is so muddy it's not taking my input this side I'm at this rate I'm definitely not gonna make it on this battery but pretty close hopefully Uh, uh, uh. Okay. So there's that hill right there. I'm definitely not going to make that up. Up that, I don't think. Even with my having changed to a 24 tooth sprocket in the front, the, I don't think I can get the bike better than it is now. But it's still there's still a limit to the terrain it can take. Let's see. Nope. Got a lot farther than before though. Try to mount again. Right here. Hard work, guys, even with a motor. Nope, burning the clutch. With hope. Oh, there. There's fog. everyone believe it or not we are back at the top so it worked happy to say but just barely uh, and definitely not without its sense of adventure so I hope you enjoyed this episode of in my sky you and me I hope it was less tiring for you than it was for me and if that's the case don't forget to hit that like button subscribe share see if you can tune in and watch me throw up but until then drive safe fly safe and I'll catch you on the next one <laughs>